Nice. Today, Governor Gavin Newsom announced that $536 million will be authorized early to gear up for the approaching fire season. Now, as we've all seen, fire season is really year round here in San Diego. This video here from December when the Willow Fire burned dangerously close to homes in Rancho San Diego. Tonight, News 8's Richard Allen has more on how getting wildfire funding early will impact San Diego and the steps we can all take now to prepare for the worst. Richard? Well, that's right. These expected funds more than double California's annual spending on wildfire preparedness compared to recent years. We've got to do more in terms of forest management. We've got to do more in terms of vegetation management. And part of the $536 million in additional funds for CAL FIRE will help accomplish that, providing additional resources toward thinning forests, carrying out planned burns, and building fuel breaks around communities prone to wildfires, as well as investing in more equipment. Yes, we're going to do more C-130s. Yes, we have new Black Hawk helicopters coming in. Also coming in, thanks to this money, more firefighting crews throughout the state, including here in San Diego County. Ultimately have six more hand crews. We Cal have Fire Captain Thomas Schutt says these new crews in our area will be rolled out in the next few months. We're talking to over 100 firefighters to staff these crews. So bringing on 100 new firefighters, as you can imagine, takes, takes time. We're bringing them on, but uh, we have to get them all trained up and, and out in the field. He also cautions that as California's abnormally dry conditions persist, we all need to prepare for the possibility of a wildfire event this summer. Really having a historically dry year down here in San Diego, it, it sets us up for a situation we, we don't really want to be in. Making the need to prepare now even more critical than ever, such as putting together an emergency preparedness kit along with the basics like a three-day supply of water and non-perishable food, as well as flashlights, battery-powered radios, extra batteries, first aid kits, N95 masks, and medication, be sure to pack additional supplies like matches, extra clothing, and blankets. Captain Schutz also recommends taking time now to clear defensible space around your home and devising an evacuation plan for your family and for your pets. You don't want to be scrambling trying to trying to come up with a plan when the fire's right at your back door. So think about all that stuff early and, and work toward the solution now while we have time on our hands. And Governor Newsom says the legislature is expected to pass these funds on Monday and he will sign it into law the following day.